The Fir'aun of Musa, his name in the books of, uh, of, of our literature, in the Arabic literature, they usually refer to him, and it's, it's interesting, they refer to him as Al-Walid ibn Mus'ab. Okay? And uh, this is actually something that Ibn Ishaq said. Ibn Ishaq is the big uh, scholar of Sirah, right? He said that this person, his name is Al-Walid ibn Mus'ab, and this is the opinion of Al-Imam Al-Tabari as well. Now, of course, Pharaoh of Musa, he's a Coptic. So they're not speaking the Arabic language. Naturally, they're not going to have Arab names, right? Because Al-Walid sounds like an Arab name. Mus'ab also sounds like an Arab name. Both of these names are found within the Sahaba or that generation as well. So how did this Pharaoh of Musa get this name? Even though Musa is a long time before the Prophet ﷺ. Some of the modern researchers, they said actually what was happening was that they were taking the, the name from the hieroglyphics language and translating it, instead of transliterating it into Arabic. So the word Rimsis, which is his name, Rimsis al-Thani, the Rimsis the second, that meant Al-Walid, the one who is recently born, right? So they took it from there. Wallahu alam. I don't know hieroglyphics to verify this for you, but this is one of the uh, hypotheses some researchers have given. Right, So we don't know exactly what this person's name is Maybe as the Arab historians have said His name is Al-Walid ibn Mus'ab Maybe as uh, you know, uh, as others have said His name is Rimsis al-Thani But Allah refers to him in the Quran as Fir'aun Pharaoh, the title but not his name Okay, And that's, there's also something that is important to note over here as well Because Allah doesn't really bring his name Because his name is worthless, it's useless That's, that's it the reason why he become, became arrogant, the reason why he became oppressive was his kingdom. So Allah reminds you of that reason and how Allah Azza wa Jal destroyed him. And that source of his pride became a symbolism for his oppression and his, the disgust that humanity will have for him till the day of judgment as well.